All right, the RTX A6000. Um, yep. Yep. Uh, they don't actually talk about any tensor or something, too. They don't actually have the amount of co uh, cores, do they? No. Okay, so we're just talking about the reveal from NVIDIA, their A6000. This is their, uh, I guess in their Quadro, potentially. Lower style fan. Actually, I didn't, I didn't, hmm. Yeah, this, um, so I'm not, you know, here's the, here's the specs for anybody who's really looking for that. Uh, some of the nitty gritty. It doesn't even get like really nitty gritty here. It doesn't even tell us the the CUs. Uh, it, yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't tell us the whole. Well, these are all the different. Yeah, these are. You know, these aren't gonna be. No, okay. Uh, and then we have this. NVLink bridge. So they're only allowing this for the. A6000 series? I mean, yeah, they're allowing it for the 3090, but you have to have two of the same exact 3090 cards because of where they're all. This is, uh, I'm just giving my first impressions of this. This kind of looks like anybody who bought a 3090. Um, this is kind of a slap in the face. If you bought it for not gaming, if you, if you bought a 3090 for gaming, you you already got slapped in the face. The the 3080 uh, 20 gigabytes is going to be a slap in the face for you. I don't know. Uh, I hope this is really good. Um, it, it's I mean it's it's going to have better probably power consumption than uh, the, the 3090. Yeah, I, it's. Yeah, this 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 also confirms there's no 48 gigabyte of the 3090. There's no way. There's no. It makes absolutely no sense unless they completely re ch change the architecture around. It, it wouldn't do anything, especially the GDR6. The only way that they would do that is if it was 48 gigabytes of GDR6, not GDR6X. Which I think they're probably just gonna cut their losses and just sell the fucking car. And I don't know. Who knows who these people? Yeah, this is kind of a third generation NVIDIA NVLink. So they're still doing essentially SLI for this. They're cutting it for the other ones. Okay. I was saying, I think, like, you would think that they wouldn't want to cut it for all of them. Here's a quick, I guess, SLI theory. I think they're completely cutting SLI because their graphics cards are hundreds of dollars apart and so close in performance. Like if you allowed for two 3070s to have an SLI bridge, I mean, isn't SLI typically like 25, 50%-ish? So if you could do that, that's better than what the 3080 is. I mean, the 3080 is like 30% faster than the 20 ATI. 3070 is supposed to be 30 ATI. And then the 3090, like the 3090 is 10 to 15% faster than 3080. So like even lowballing the SLI for the 3080, unless there's just something wrong with it, it just doesn't work and doesn't increase actual, uh, doesn't decrease the workloads or uh, increase the frames. All that much it seems like a stupid solution for them to do which sucks because you know i have a gtx 980 in my friend's computer and when i was making it for him i put a 750 watt power supply was in there why in case he's gonna put another gtx 980 you know 25 50 percent more it's not gonna it's not gonna be great you know but if that thing is worth like Anywhere from like fifty bucks to a hundred bucks for that much performance. Well, that's a that's not a bad option to have. It's it's like that's the thing. It's like they're cutting out options. Why cut it out? Why 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 not support it? Why literally just not have a team of people that just are supporting SLI in the NV Link too? Because this, but this isn't for 
this thing here isn't for uh, gaming. This is for productivity. So uh, this is this is probably the most exciting thing that's come out of Nvidia. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. It's gonna be an interesting month. What's today's date? The uh, fifth. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting month. So.